Since Acura did not invite me to Los Angeles or ask me to comment about their global reveal of the new Acura Integra prototype, here we go. Glorified Civic with a face and booty lift. It doesn't have a style distinctive enough to separate it from the pack. Looks too familiar. Looks like another bloated modern sedan. Hey, the new ILX looks great. There's a reason why Acura said goodbye to the Integra name 20 years ago. Gotta have that Integra decal to let people know it's an Integra. Needs more power and all-wheel drive. And not ready for prime time. By the way, the 80s called. They want their Integra back. These are just some of the comments that I've been reading about the new Integra now that it's out and about after their big debut in Los Angeles. I'm still up in the air. Some of these comments I do agree with. Some are a little rude. So here's what Honda said when they came out with it. They're calling it a premium sport compact that is ready for the new generation. Are you that new generation? If you grew up with this back in the 80s and 90s, you may disagree. So it heralds the return of an iconic nameplate to the Acura lineup. This 2023 will be a premium sport compact with a coupe-like roofline and versatile five-door liftback design. First factory turbocharged Integra takes power from a high output 1.5 liter with VTEC. Gear for enthusiasts, a six-speed manual transmission will be offered. Uniquely aspirational and attainable, this new Integra will start around 30 grand when it arrives next year. So here is more or less the, the press release and details that Acura put out there. Since I wasn't there, I'm gonna read what they sent. Inspired by past Integras, including the original that helped launch the Acura brand in 1986, the 2023 will become the new gateway performance model in the Acura lineup, a premium sport compact with an evocative five-door design and fun to drive spirit. This first ever factory turbocharged Integra will excite a new generation of enthusiastic drivers with the available six speed manual transmission, limited slip differential, and a high output 1.5 liter engine with VTEC, of course. Its vice president and Acura brand officer said this, the Integra is one of the most iconic models in the Acura's history. This new Integra will continue to deliver on the original's unique aspirational yet attainable market position with emotional performance and style combined with the versatility and utility sought after by today's buyers, end quote. Designed in Japan, the new Integra's bold exterior styling features a dramatically sloping roof line and lift back tailgate, giving it a distinctive coupe-like road presence. A modern interpretation of the Integra line, the fifth generation model displays trademark cues such as the embossed Integra name under the driver's side headlight and passenger side taillight. First seen on the Type S concept, Acura's new frameless diamond pentagon grille gives the Integra front a purposeful and sporty character. Acura's unique lighting signature is updated with the chicane LED daytime running lights. I'm not sure if I said that right. Now positioned above the Integra's jewel eye LED headlights, yielding an even more dramatic appearance. Muscular rear wheel arches and aggressive rear fascia with dual exhaust finishers emphasizes Integra's wide track. Inspired by previous Integra models, the distinctive rear styling features wide single piece tail lights with that new light signature. Behind the Integra's prototype's matte finish 19-inch split five-spoke wheels are oversized Brembo high-performance brakes with color key Indy yellow calipers, providing incredible stopping power, according to Honda and Acura, with an aggressive look. Its striking Indy yellow pearl paint pays homage to Phoenix Yellow, offered on the iconic 2000-2001 Integra Type R, High gloss Berlina black accents have been applied to the Integra's roof, deck lid spoiler, mirror caps, rear diffuser, and front grille. A lower sill graphic boldly displays the Integra name across the side of the vehicle. The launch of the 2023 Acura Integra will mark the first time for the Integra to be built in America when it begins mass production next year at the Marysville Auto Plant in Ohio. Said to be built on the same production line with the Acura TLX, Integra will join all new Acura models sold in the U.S. in being built in Ohio. 
More details on the 2023 Acura will be released closer to its market introduction in the first half of next year. Your thoughts and comments are highly encouraged in the comment section below this video. In the meantime, here is an Acura Integra prototype walk around by the experts themselves to give you a few more details about what this car is about from their point of view. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Erickson. Adios. Hi. Welcome to the introduction of the Integra prototype. My name is Johnny Ketta. I'm the Acura brand officer. And what we have here is Jonathan Rivers with American Honda Product Planning. He is the guy that is, I consider you the godfather of the Integra on this round because uh, you were very much involved with the development of this vehicle. So I think you are the absolute perfect person to give everyone a quick walk around of this amazing car you worked on. All right, John? Thanks a lot. Let's do that. All right, appreciate it. We're here at the global debut of the Acura Integra prototype. This is such an important model for the Acura brand, as we're leveraging our heritage of the Integra name, but also creating a new gateway for our next generation of Acura customers. I'm just gonna point out some of the great design elements for you of this prototype vehicle. I think the first thing you'll notice is the striking paint, Indy Yellow Pearl, taken from our NSX supercar. You'll also notice a very aggressive front fascia, which for me is one of my favorite cues with having the name Integra embossed in both the front and rear fascias. You'll see our signature chicane LED daytime running lamps, a very aggressive wheel package, 19 inch in size, these amazing Brembo calipers, also painted in that same yellow as the body itself but it's the great black accents that you'll notice on the roof, the door mirror caps, even on the rear deck lift spoiler that really give it a sporty and purposeful design. Clearly you'll see the Integra graphics along the bottom of the vehicle. And as we make it towards the rear, maybe my favorite view of the car, you'll notice this sloping roof that lends to the five door lift back design. So this vehicle is not only sporty and purposeful, but it actually has the versatility that this next generation of Axior customers are going to want. Lastly, we'll take a look around the back with a single piece LED chicane tail light design and these amazing rear diffuser and blacked out exhaust tips. We're here today with the Global Debut. This vehicle will go on sale next year, starting at around $30,000. Now, as we get closer to the launch, we'll have a lot more details to share, but this is the first look of the Acura Integra prototype. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.